Hi, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Today we're looking at a 1997 Maxim 4600 SCB. Nice boat inside, no odors, uh, everything is very clean, very comfortable space. Uh, it's got Cummins 370 horsepower, diesel engines, a Westerbeek 12.5 kW diesel generator. Everything looks pretty good, except I would say the uh, flybridge canvas you can see up above me. Eh, it's getting a little tired and the electronics could use uh, updating as well. All right, let's go take a look. Hard to get a good overall picture of this boat from uh, its dock location, but we'll do our best. By the way, this dinghy does not belong with the boat, does not come with boat. But we do have a big swim platform in the back and we'll walk down the finger pier along the starboard side. It does appear, the glass appears to be in good shape. The gel coat is shiny. And this is the end of the season here. We're in the fall, in October. And uh, it's holding up well through the season. You notice nice walkways. I did walk forward and it's very safe, very secure, nice handrails. And we'll take a look at the starboard side as well. There's a shore power coming in, 50 amp, and city water coming in as well. And then here's the starboard side. All right, let's jump aboard and see what we can find. All right, the main living space is accessed through a large curved sliding glass door. It actually slides nice and easy. You walk right into the salon. Large settee to starboard with like a Corian uh, table. And then to port, we have a large LED TV, stereo, DVD players, uh, speakers above. There's also a fridge, small fridge, or is it an ice maker? It's actually an ice maker. There's also some stereo speakers above the uh, settee on starboard. There's a dinette to starboard, seating for four easily. Also with a Corian countertop. And then one step down into the galley. Nice countertops, two st uh, stainless sinks, three burner electric stove, we got a black and decker, decker like toaster oven, convection oven type thing. Nice wine glass storage above. And then we have, I would call it like a large fridge, mid-sized fridge, if you will. Not as big as what you might have at home, but pretty good size for a boat. We have the freezer above, fridge below. A little place for one of these uh, black and decker coffee makers. And it looks complete. Our electric panels under here and our generator start controls. Let's walk down below, see if we can get some. Immediately to starboard is the guest quarters. Get some lights on in here. And basically you have two berths in here. Great for the kids. They can each have their own bed. A little standing headroom right when you walk in, but not over the bed area. And a very large hanging locker. With some shelves. It is air conditioned, by the way. And that's connected to a head. What I call it, the guest head and also the day head. Uh, manual toilet. Both heads in this boat have manual toilets. Everything's really clean, no odors. And there is a separate shower stall with a round uh, like plexiglass door that slides and isolates the shower from the rest of the head. And then up forward we have the owner's stateroom. Large island style berth on the center line. Makes it easy to get on and off the bed without disturbing your partner. 
it does have its own air conditioning controls. And then you have two hanging lockers in here. That one's to starboard. You also got some shelves, place store away makeup or whatever on both sides. And there's an LED TV in here as well. A little stereo player. And access to your own head in here. Put some lights on. Sink, manual toilet, and a separate shower stall area uh, with a seat. Actually, like a little bit of a bathtub in there. You could actually uh, use it as a bathtub as well. Pretty neat. And all the surfaces in here are very clean. No odors. That's what I like to see. And we'll walk back up into the salon. There is carpeting throughout. And uh, engine room access is under there. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. It's a very comfortable space. A lot of room. Make a very nice floating summer cottage down here in Mystic or wherever you are. All right, we'll take a look at the cockpit. There's the access to the generator and a lot of storage. And you have a couple other access panels to get into that storage area. You have two little lockers here in the transom and the gunnels. And there is a dive door or a swim door, I should say. Get you out to a quite generous swim platform. And then here's the stairway going upstairs. It's not a ladder, it's more like stairs, but they are relatively steep. And there's a door there. And the door is missing its hydro or its uh, air strut. You may want to replace that. I noticed when you open it, they have a line up there to hold it open. It won't stay open on its own without there it. There is some outside deck space. If you wanted to put some chairs and a table, you certainly could. And then here's our Raytheon radar transmitter up on a little stainless arch. And here we are inside the flybridge and we have L-shaped seating with covers on it right now. And then the main captain's chair and mate's chair uh, also with covers. And there's a cover on the dash. And I'll peel all that back. All right, I've taken the covers off the vinyl seating. It's obviously original stuff up here. It's showing its age. I mean, it's serviceable, it'll work. But got a few little tired spots, a couple little poles there. Coming apart at the seams in one spot here. This is the L-shaped settee up here. And then if we look at the helm seat, looks like a, like a puncture right there. Just looking a little tired. Yeah, it's a 20 year old boat that's seen some use, so. And I'd say the electronics are definitely original. And they may serve his needs, but you may want to upgrade to new electronics. We've got the Raymarine radar unit here, and it's old school, but there it is. This is the Raymarine chart plotter controller, and I gotta think there was a display here, and I don't know if he has it at home or what's going on. I just see the bracket for it. Um, I don't know why you would take it out of here. I'm gonna assume it may not be working or something if it's not here. And then here's a Raymarine autopilot and a Lawrence something. Maybe this is a little GPS chart plotter he put in there, or maybe that's the fish finder. I just don't know. And uh, standard horizon VHF. The engine hours, we got 737 on starboard and 735 on port. The canvas up here, uh, it's not bad, not great. Um, good for a little bit longer, but yeah. And right here we got like the zippers pulled away. So the, so, some of the threads are starting to go away. And so it may need a little attention. It's usually the, the threads that hold it all together. The sun gets to those first. And you 
I sometimes have to bring it in and get some uh, sewing. Then they, they use new thread now that's um, got more UV resistance. Good for another couple seasons, but you know, a little tired looking. It's a 20 year old boat. All right, I'm down in the engine room. There are lights down here. The Cummins six cylinder, 370 horsepower engines look pretty good. They look like they've been maintained well. Things like the uh, hoses are in decent shape. The exhaust hoses look good. If we walk aft, we have our two engine intakes right next to each other, seawater intakes, big strainers. Here's our exhaust hose, it runs aft. We've got big batteries down here as well. I don't know exactly what size they are, but that's where they live. There's the exhaust hose on the uh, starboard engine. And then there are dripless shaft seals on both engines. Actually, the port one's easier to see. Here's our transmission, so it is direct drive right out the transom here, out the bottom of the boat. Got a battery charger down here. Hydraulic uh, control system right here for the engine controls. And in the back is the Westerbeek generator. I believe that's a 12.5 kW. And that's better access through the hatch in the uh, cockpit. Looking at the starboard engine. Here's our Cummins coolant reservoir. Up forward, we've got fuel um, water separators and filters. All in all, it's pretty clean in here, pretty ship shape. Easy to get around these engines, by the way. There's a lot of room on the outside over there to uh, get around and service the engines, whether you do it yourself or you have the yard mechanic do it. All right, I've opened up the uh, generator access panel. It is a 12.5 kW. Looks clean. We've got a newer oil filter on there. Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Thanks for looking at this 1997 Maxim 4600 SCB with me with twin Cummins 370s, Westerbeek diesel generator, air conditioning, and actually everything's in nice shape inside. Could use some new electronics and canvas up in the flybridge. All right, that's it. Reach out to me if you have any questions or would like to set up a showing. Thanks, bye.